The Extranol 24 also has patented Extramel. Extramel is a super orac melon extract. It's specifically bred for antioxidant. This is a very special melon that uh, w was around in ancient times in northern Africa, and then they found that this melon lives much, much longer. It doesn't, it doesn't spoil, it doesn't go bad. And so as they found that it had this high concentration of these antioxidants, they actually bred the melon to increase that function. And today, this group that, that we're working with, they, they don't eat these. They only grow them so that we can have them to put in Extranol 24. This melon pulp concentrate is very rich in SOD, which is a primary antioxidant enzyme, and glutathione, which is often called the master antioxidant. So Extranol and exercise, they've done studies, and of, the problem with exercise is that we have a high consumption of oxygen. When we breathe, we breathe much faster. <laughs> when you're exercising. That's taking in more oxygen, and that means that we're producing reactive oxygen species, free radicals. So we're producing a high number of free radicals. They did this study, which, which I particularly like, because I know many of you are aware that after 35 years I'm still doing martial arts. They did this with professional martial artists, and they found that when these people are working out, and they're taking extra mill, it has a significant impact on the approved oxidative state in the body after training. They've also looked at the overall applications from taking this, and what they find is it's a very good antioxidant overall. It helps prevent aging, so it's good for anti-aging, cell damage, skin beauty, intense sun exposure. It can protect your body from that. Very good for stress, tiredness, well-being, cognitive and physical consequences such as pain and poor concentration. And very good for intense physical exercise and even joint pain. In this study, they looked at giving extra mel to people and exposing them to intense sunlight and they found that there was a 40% reduction in the inflammation in the body by the people that got the extra mel. We also have glutathione, this master antioxidant. It's a small protein that's composed of three amino acids, cysteine, glutamic acid, and glycine. If you have an abundance of these in your body, you can make your glutathione if the, if the process is working right. So you have to have all the little components, and your body has to be working right to make it. There are three major roles of, or activity for the glutathione in the body. It is a powerful antioxidant, it's an immune booster, and it's a detoxifier. Even cells in the healthiest of individuals have to constantly replace and rebuild their glutathione supply in order to keep them healthy. So this master antioxidant, it's been used to treat infertility, cancer, cataracts, and HIV. It is classified as an orphan drug for the treatment of AIDS. Now what that means is that there's not enough money, enough research money and development money for a drug company to go in and turn this into a drug and so it kind of gets a, a fast track with the FDA if somebody wants to work with this and try and develop something. Uh, the problem is that uh, it's a natural substance and so it's very hard for people to, uh, to try and patent and sell this and nobody else can do it. Uh, not a lot of money there, but of course we now have that for you. And glutathione is also used to detoxify various chemicals from the body. A deficiency in this can be caused by a number of conditions that would increase your need for glutathione, such as diabetes, low sperm count, liver disease, cataracts, HIV, respiratory distress syndrome, cancer, and idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. And as you might expect, um, one of the big antagonists to this is cigarette smoking. If you are a, a smoker or you're around secondhand smoke, that greatly depletes your supply of glutathione. Glutathione, you can't eat me. And what this means is that supplementation with glutathione has been very difficult. Research shows that when it's taken orally, it's not well absorbed across the GI tract. In one study, they gave people three grams. That's 3,000 milligrams of glutathione, and they couldn't see any significant change in the serum levels of glutathione in the body. And this is because the glutathione is destroyed in the GI system. So you can't take any of the typical pills that are out there or the liquids because it's not absorbed. There's also very little evidence that glutathione, uh, actually there's no evidence, that people can take glutathione to help with whitening of the skin. That's something that uh, has become somewhat popular in Asia in recent years, but all of the literature suggests that it's really not possible to do that. 